This week marks one year since 17 high school students were killed in Parkland, Florida. Often after mass shootings, we hear about the need for better mental health services. But does anything ever change? Jason Whiteley shows us how in tonight's WFAA original. <laughs> Today we are having a taco salad and a creamy cinnamon apple salad. It's doubtful you'll find a more welcoming place in Richardson. Where would you like to sit? Do you have a preference? Okay, come on over. Weekdays at 1230, lunch is served. Your server will be Liz. This is not a restaurant though, it's a training ground. A need finally being fulfilled. Jamie and Leah, can I sit with you? For people like Terry Hitchcock, managing mental illness. I have had a lot of diagnoses. I don't like labels at all, at all. It's called the Plan Clubhouse of North Texas. Jewish Family Service runs it. It's not clinical or counseling, but geared toward real life for people often isolated. Most people think that the clubhouse is run by the staff and it's actually member run. And so what it does for a person with severe and persistent mental illness is it gives them purpose and meaning. Just listen to Terry tell it. You don't have to wake up in the morning and go, oh my God, I'm still here. You know, I used to wake up and just go, Shit, I'm still here. <laughs> and now I don't. Now I get up and oh, get to go. But to understand where she is, you have to hear where she's been. I was brutally raped in college and stabbed five times. So that was another thing that perpetuated the depression. The clubhouse helps people make decisions gives them responsibility. Did you give him a number? And members check up on each other. For the last three years, they've even taken a vacation together to a ranch outside Gainesville. It is that sense of belonging that brings Terry to tears. It's something I don't get anywhere else. The acceptance, the, the ability to be myself completely, the love. Here's what else this place does. It keeps people out of hospitals and out of trouble. Until now, nothing really existed for people like Terry on a day-to-day -day basis. Organizers say the public clearly benefits here, and that's why they're asking state lawmakers for help as well. One of our big goals is to fight stigma. It's about letting people know that just because you're struggling with a mental illness, you still can accomplish amazing things. The clubhouse has about 20 people now. It's free to attend, and there is room for a lot more. I take responsibility for my illness. I don't use it as an excuse that to not work. I want to work. I can't wait to, I'm going to be the next one to get a job. I am, I swear it. Do you guys know which tables are yours? It's a place that focuses on wellness rather than illness, teaching there is no shame in asking for help. 18 eating today. In Richardson. So, um, so that's pretty good. That's a good day. I'm Jason White. Okay, thank you, enjoy your lunch. All right, to find out uh, how to contact the clubhouse or let a friend or a loved one know about it, look for this story. We'll have it for you at WFAA.com. That's a great way for people to actually get together people who feel left out and alone. Great, great I idea. I loved seeing her smile.